What does it mean for you guys just to, you know, finish this year off here at home and, you know, get another win? Yeah, I'm not sure we've finished anything off yet, quite yet, but uh, to win another uh, one at home is nice. And uh, we've uh, done pretty good at the uh, during the uh, last few years in home tennis. So to be able to protect our home court advantage and get to the quarterfinals of the NCAA tournament feels good. But now now the work starts. We've got to try and plan to get 18 or 19 people to Stillwater, Oklahoma. We've only got about 24 hours to do it. You've got to get lineups in. You've got to get lots of things. So when everybody ends up leaving, We've got some stuff that we got to get done. So, but, uh, you know, it feels good. The guys uh, fought hard, good doubles point, two spots. Uh, got a, got away with a, a nice, uh, you know, one point uh, lead to start and then uh, came out on a couple courts and had our way with them to give us a 3-0 lead. But then it got tight pretty quick and uh, we knew it was going to get tight because it always gets tight. Uh, two years ago, it was 4-2 versus USC here. Uh, last year it was 4-2 versus Arizona here, so so we know. I mean, the round of 16, every every every, every round of 16 is going to be uh, uh, highly contested. Obviously, you guys have been to this stage a lot, but you haven't been able to go all the way yet. Do Thanks you a lot. Thank you. <laughs> do you do you feel like you know the pieces are there? But this is the team that can finally get over that hump. Oh, you know, we've won three national indoor titles and the same teams play the national indoors. But, uh, you know, we play, uh, you know, more indoor tennis than we do outdoors. And we'd like to, you know, we've lost in three NCAA championships. But, but yes, for the for the program, you know, we are missing a title. And it'd be nice to, to hold that title that has that, that trophy that has gold on it. You know, you get tired of silver trophies. But, you know, trophies are nice. Is there a different level of urgency knowing that those five seniors that were just honored here but this is their last run at it you know of course i love those guys spent more time with those than anybody but i've every year i have seniors and every year people depart and you know you spend a lot of time with them but you know i, I can't you know the what people don't realize is you know just how much fun it'll be when we arrive in oklahoma when we arrive in oklahoma ah. <laughs> when, when we arrive in oklahoma right uh you know to be able to getting three uh, mini vans or three SUVs with uh, your team, you know, 13 guys and three coaches and a trainer and a strength coach, people that have been with you the whole time and to be able to roll around in still water, and, uh, you know, with your squad and, you know, it's, you know, there's nothing like it. So, you know, there's high stakes today. People don't understand. You lose that match and you're done. But now we get to go run around as a team for seven more days together and, you know, keep, keep, keep the band together. How special is the senior class? I mean, every senior class is special, but you know, you got Robert Cash from uh, New Albany who's uh, set the uh, doubles record. You have Andrew Lachonic who was an NCAA champion. You have JJ Tracy who could be, you know, a, okay. are, are there five better players than JJ Tracy in the history of the program? I mean, you know, you don't know. Cannon Kingsley, I mean, National Freshman of the Year, three time All American, and uh, Justin Boulay. I mean, those guys are, you know, great Buckeyes and uh, they'll be lifelong friends and uh, I look forward to seeing those guys back and throughout the next couple of years because everybody gets together for Buckeye football so you know when uh, Texas comes to town the year after I'm sure we'll hold some sort of function for all the guys and Texas is in town to play football and Oregon and with, you know it's it's a great thing you know every year you get uh, you know two good games in Ohio State for football and that's when guys come back so these guys will be there. They have such great experience how valuable would that be going into Stillwater? Oh you know what you guys should know I mean if you get that doubles point we're a tough out but that doubles point's crazy you know it lasts 22, 23, 24 minutes I mean one thing goes bad one bad call one football an umpire is sleeping a little bit well I think he's sleeping sometimes but we don't get the call but uh, you know something happens and uh you know it's it's it, it can happen quick i mean you're kind of shaking but if you get that doubles point uh the buckeyes are tough to beat you know we've we, we lost the doubles point uh three times out of the, from the round of 16 through the final match of the national indoors we lost the doubles point three times and 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 ended up winning the national indoors so we were capable of taking four or six singles but you don't want to have to do that you want to be able to go out there split three out of six singles grab your four points and move on to the next round is that resiliency what's been special about this particular group yeah, I mean, I'd say yeah, experience, resiliency. I mean, just guys that like each other. I mean, guys that kind of like me. I mean, it's it's all right. It's a decent recipe. Justin was saying he thinks the chemistry of his team is at a different level than it's been in the past. Is that something you've seen? Well, I mean, these guys, as you get older and older and you realize, you know, you guys are best friends and good friends, and they went through COVID together and all the stuff that have gone together. I mean, they've, they've held... 
national championship trophies from the indoors and they've held second place trophies. So these guys have been there and done that and you know it's time to go try to get a doubles point in the quarterfinals because it won't be easy. I mean all eight teams that go there have a chance to win the nationals. So you know Texas who beat us earlier this year lost in the first round of the national indoors to Arizona. We could quite possibly play Arizona. Played them last year here and it was just an absolute bloodbath for lack of a better word, but uh, nothing will be easy. And we don't expect it to be easy, but you know, we've got to get ready to play some doubles and we've got to, you know, go out there and get after it. Robert said, you guys got to peak at the right time. What does that look like in well, your mind? I, I mean, there's only about what, seven more days of tennis. So, I mean, it's time to peak, yep. you know, I think we've been pretty good in doubles, but like I said, it's a 22 minute point. Anything can happen in that. I mean, actually college tennis, they, I hated change and it used to play two out of three sets in doubles, but wow, you know, they've, they've, uh, you know, made it, made it quite tight and interesting for the fans. I mean, you, it doesn't matter if you're number one in the country and you're playing number 30 in the country, that doubles point is, is tight and anything can happen. So, you know, it's exciting for the fans and exciting for the no ad scoring. I mean, there's so many deuce points. It's like you get a little bit of momentum, then you lose that momentum because of the, you know, in pro tennis, they play deuce, ad, deuce, ad. You got to win two points in a row to win a game. In college tennis, you can nickel and dime somebody to death, win one point, one point, one point, find your wealth with a game. But in, in regular scoring, you have to win two points in a row to get a game. So, you know, it's uh, tough to keep momentum, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, we've had a darn good group of guys, but there's, there's seven other teams that want to kick our butts, so we got to go in that locker room and get ready to roll.